hi guys welcome back welcome back to another airbrush makeup video with me if you guys aren't subscribed make sure you guys subscribe to my youtube channel i upload one two or even three times a week with that being said let's get started so let's jump on by prepping my face i already moisturized um i am gonna go in with my Lorac eye primer so i'm just gonna take just a dab and prime my eyelids Next, I'm gonna use my Smashbox, and this is oil-free. Just gonna take just a dab, do it right on my nose, along the bridge of my nose and my forehead. For my lips, I'm gonna be using Airbrush CBD Lip Balm. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add just on my lips to moisturize. So for my compressor, I'm going to be using my Diner One, and I'm going to go ahead and add a couple of drops of Airbrush CBD, just one, two, three. I'm going to go ahead and turn on my compressor, and then mist my face. And that's it. So let's jump right in. I'm going to go ahead and use two drops or three drops of Underground. This is by far my best. I think I've been using Underground for... Five years now ever since i started it is an eyeshadow shade but i like to use it for my brows <laughs> okay so whatever i do to one side i do to the other i'm gonna go ahead and use my stencil and this is in the letter c everything that i'll be using will be down on my description down below i do have links and codes for you guys so definitely check that out And there you go guys voila if you need a clean as you guys see I don't use any concealer I just use a cotton swab to just clean out the overspray that's pretty much it I like to leave a little gap in between I've been doing it for close to five years <laughs> so I don't completely shade them in so I get asked a lot, do I clean in between my shades? And it all depends if you're going from dark to lightest. Yes, if you're going from light to darkest, you could, I use up to three colors. So it all depends. Moving on to my eyes, I am going to go in with my one, two, three steps. My first step is two drops of vanilla. And this is on the neutralizer line. So I'm going to go ahead and get my handy dandy stencil and spray on my brow bone. Okay, just like that. Second step, I'm going to go ahead and use my golden olive and this is my camouflage again. One, two. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that color right in between my transition and my brow bone. Just right there. And there you go. And for my final third step, I'm gonna go in with cocoa, otherwise known as cocoa. So this is a glamour line. Go ahead and spray a tissue before spraying. So this is going to be right in my transitional, transition shade. Right there. So I'm not adding too much because I am going to be using light dark colors. So not a lot. Let me see. Okay. I think I'm good there. For my eyelid color, I'm gonna go ahead and use two to three drops of a lilac. Look what it looks like. One, two, three. I'm gonna go ahead and spray that all over my eyelid and a little bit above. I 
I like to spray and dry. You just kind of want to build the color. Be patient with it. So just spray and dry. Remember the less is better. Go ahead and use, do the other eye. And there you go, guys. So for the inner corner of my eye, I'm going to go ahead and use a Diva Pink. I'm gonna go ahead and add just two drops of that. And I'm gonna go in right in my inner corner of my eye. I'm just gonna slightly pull and add. There you go. So slightly pull and add. By the way, guys, thank you guys so much. I just reached 26,000 subscribers. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. So I'm just here spraying back and forth. I just want to make sure everything is good. And whatever's left, I'm going to go ahead and uh, drag it on the bottom of my eye. So I'm just going to lightly pull down and spray. Just like that. Same thing to the other eye. And I get, I get asked all the time, what happens if it goes into your eyes? The answer is nothing. This is water-based. I've been doing it for five years. I've never gotten a pink eye. Um, as you guys see. So if you guys are new to my channel, I am currently in my mom's house with all this thing going around. I'm still in my mom's house. I haven't been back home. Um, and I was looking for my blue and realized that I don't have my blue. I must have left it home, but we work with what we have. I'm going to go ahead and be using turquoise and I'm going to go ahead and go in with midnight blue. So I'm going to go ahead and mix these two. Just like that and slightly go in. Not too much, just a little. Okay, same thing to the other eye, and then I like to go back and forth. And if you guys didn't know, I do wear glasses, so for me it's kind of hard not being at home my setup, my own mirror. I am using my sister's mirror. So she uses a different mirror from me. I think the mirror that she's using is the one you guys get at Costco, the one with the light on. Mine is completely different from this one. So hang in there with me guys, patience, but I hopefully you guys are loving what I'm doing. And if you guys are wondering where the baby's at, Big Brother's taking care of him. So I'm just gonna go ahead and darken, 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 little by little. Let me do a cut, Jolo. Go ahead and use my stencil and do a cut here. Look at that. Ooh, love it. Look at guys. And slightly add. And there you go, guys. And before anything, guys, I'm going to go ahead and add pink blossom and I'm gonna go ahead and add that in the inner corner of my eye just a little highlight so I'm gonna go ahead and pull back just a bit and add just like that so again pull lightly and add 
So it's best if you want to add a highlight in the inner corner of your eye, it's best if you do it before you add in your eyeliner. So moving on to my eyeliner, I am going to be using a jet black. I'm going to be using eh, just three drops of that. I know every single look looks way different once you add in your lashes. So bear with me. Have faith. Everything will come out good. So moving on to my eyes, I'm going to go ahead and use my handy at any stencil. I'm going to go in the middle. I like to do it in three parts, just in the middle. So I like to clean my stencil before I place it back into my eyes. So I like to do the inner corner of my eye. Okay. Clean and then the outer V. Okay. Oops, I already hear the baby. I'm gonna go ahead and drag this in just a bit. So there goes my top liner. So I'm gonna go ahead and mimic a wing liner using airbrush. So I'm gonna go ahead and place my stencil right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray. Okay, there, do the other eye. Make sure they're even, even. So I'm gonna add just a bit more on this side. Okay, so they're even right there. Then I'm gonna go ahead and fill. Okay, same thing to the other eye. easy as one two three <laughs> so since I do have my pink on the bottom I don't want to over spray that so I am gonna go in with my Bisu eyeliner and this is gonna go just on my waterline I'm just gonna add this right on my waterline So moving on to lashes because I feel like this look completes everything with lashes. I am going to go in with Cali lashes so you can find them on Instagram. So I'm going to go ahead and add my lashes. So I'm going to go ahead and do the inner, the middle of my eye. Is this the right or the left? Okay, it's the right. Usually I'll be doing them cricket. Do that right there. And right there. Sometimes I'll add mascara and sometimes I don't, but today I didn't. It's okay. There is one lash, so look at this. And I always like to seal my lashes. If you guys don't know, what do I mean is the jet black is actually matte and my um, lash glue, this is kind of glossy, so I like to mattify everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my compressor and with that same jet black and my handy dandy stencil, I'm gonna go ahead and go underneath my lashes. You guys see this glue? I wait, kinda went a little bit more up. There you go, guys. Okay, same thing to the other eye. there you go so so I'm definitely gonna clean out really good because I've done it before that I don't clean properly my airbrush gun and when you go in with foundation it comes out gray so definitely clean out your airbrush really good I like to go in about three or four times with my cleaner just back bubble and spray that's all you have to do 
Do this three times and you're good to go. So moving on to foundation, I am gonna be using um, vanilla and golden olive. So I'm gonna be using 10 drops of vanilla with uh, five drops or four of golden olive. So this is in the neutralizer line. Go ahead and mix. And this is what my face looks like without any foundation. Keep in mind, I do like a light to medium coverage, not even a medium coverage. If you guys want to go full coverage, all you guys need to do is more drops in there. So I'm going to start with one side first so you guys can see. So as you guys see, I do have a little acne here and there. I'm going to go ahead and cover those up really quick first and then spray. I don't concentrate too much on my contour area just because I go in with contour and add you guys see this redness going around here I'm gonna cover it right now And if you get it on your hairline, get a tissue and rub it off. It comes out really good. But again, if I touch, nothing comes out. Well, don't mind that black, but nothing comes out. And it dries very, very easily on my face. It sets. And again, I don't go too much in the inner corner of my eye because I do wear glasses. So this is what half looks like. Do you guys see the difference? Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other side for you guys. And there you go guys so to bronze up my face I'm gonna go ahead and use cocoa I'm gonna be using a three drops of that one two three spray a tissue and then spray there you go guys I am gonna skip blush but I am gonna go in with a highlight and I'm gonna be using 24 karat just gonna be adding just two drops of that go ahead and that highlight can you see that glow So there is my highlight there, but I'm going to go ahead and top it off with Pink Blossom. Just one drop. Okay. And there you go, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and add on my Cupid's bow. A little bit on my nose and my bridge and there you go okay guys so to finish up this complete look i usually go in with a nude lipstick but today i have three new colors on my collection let me show you what they look like so these are by airbrush cbd too you guys could definitely check them out through instagram 
the first color that i have here is bud buddy actually let me swatch them for you guys so it's bud buddy let me give it a little swatch and get close so there it is okay my second color is hashtag so just one swipe there it is and then my third color is natural high. And there it is. So I think I may go with natural high or mix. Let's see, I'm gonna go in with this one. Ooh, let me add just a bit of Hashtag, which is this one right here. Mix them up. And there you go, guys. And these have CBD in them. So, yeah, there you go, guys. So, these three colors that I have from Airbrush CBD. Okay guys, so I know I'm gonna be asked how much CBD does it contain in it? And these actually contain 15 mg CBD. For my lip balm, it contains 100 mg. And guys, I've never shown this on my channel, but if you guys are looking for some airbrush CBD, definitely check them out. This one contains 500 mg CBD in it. If you guys are looking for anything with CBD, such as lip balm, oil, spray, lip stains, anything, you got it. Go ahead and check them out on Instagram as well on my description down below. And there you go, guys. Let me get up close so you guys are able to see from side to side. And as always, guys, thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart. I truly appreciate it. All the comments, all the likes, the love, the support that you guys always bring to me. You guys rock. And as always, guys, I'll see you guys all next time. Bye now.